you'll notice there's lines all over it. <laughs> and that's how um, I, I, you know, generally I'm a observational drawer. Uh, I, you know, look at, I, I learned how to draw from photography before I learned how to draw from life. And then I spent a lot of time practicing life drawing with the academy. And hopefully I've, I've learned how to, you know, up my game on that. But you, you have more information when you're drawing from life. You can look around things. You can see things. The photography has already taken, a, taken care of a step of it already. It's flattened the image for you. And so it's in two dimension. Um, drawing from life teaches you how to fill in from that. And then just a, 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 a lot of practice of seeing things in shape. And so I, I thought about, you know, I talk about it and I, you know, I usually don't do all this stuff. I just start drawing when I come in here, very much like Cassandra's doing, very much what, like Adam's doing. Adam's more of a, you know, produces more with line. Cassandra and I produce, he ends up at the same place. He's like lassoing shape with line. I'm trying to get to shape with um get get to the, get to my objects or the shape of the object by you know by by seeing the whole thing and the silhouette of it so first thing i always do when i'm going to make a picture and invest any time is i do a thumbnail i make my picture i figure out um where it's going to be where it's going to sit on the page this is a this is an overdone thumbnail so i did it a little bigger it's about three and a half inches tall, I guess, three, three inches, three, maybe four inches, not three inches tall. And, and I kind of divided the space up how I wanted it. And I figured out where it was going to go based on the size of this little panel I had. And, but if I'm going to invest any time in anything, I want to know what the picture is going to be. So I do my thumbnail. Um, as far as the little lesson I wanted to give tonight and the drawing side of it, I took okay. The piece of reference I had, you know, this is probably 25, 30% smaller, this little bitty piece of reference, but you see all these red lines around it. And the, and the first thing I do when I look at something like this, usually I just start blocking in shape very much like Cassandra's doing with pastel or paint and try to find it. But look at this real simple outline shape of the figure where I'm not getting all the contours I'm 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 just getting the big overall shape of it. Now, one of the things I did do when I was thinking about doing this piece was I didn't like there, there's a if you look at it closely, there's an individual behind him where the hand is underneath and it's pushing this leg out further. So I pulled the leg, his his left leg, the right leg in the picture back a little bit to make it feel a little bit more normal it looked like it was you know out of place so i moved it in a little bit but the first thing i did the first thing you could think about it's called enveloping and you'd make a real simple geometric shape of the outline not getting all the little contours and get a simple shape in your proportions now how i how I also think about this, like when I'm trying to do like a serious head drawing, something I really want to get accurate, I'll kind of divide up the, the image. And this one's in quarters. You can see here's the center, the exact center of the figure from here. This is the center of the outside, either sides here. This is the direct center. And I do the same thing, top and bottom, going vertically, obviously horizontal and vertically. And then you, it made four squares and it makes it real easy to see when I do it on here, it makes it real easy to get all my proportions right very quickly. And then if you get your proportions right, it's just really going in, identifying the shape. And you can do things like, you know, I measure up from like where the mouth is, where the bottom of the eyes are, um, you know, how far out does the foot come in relationship to the back of the nose? You start looking at those things and comparing and looking at the angles of things, the angles of the eyes. You look for all of those things when you're finding your shape. And I try to do, I usually do it all at the same time when I'm drawing, but this is a really simplistic way that I think would help anybody um, to think about approaching and getting a little bit more accuracy 
on their overall shape of whatever they're doing. And then once you get the shape right, everything kind of falls into place. I mean, you can figure out where the eyes go, then you can then you can really get in and start determining the, the you know, um, what's hard edge and soft edge and all of that stuff. But that's my lesson for today <laughs> of, I know it's really simple and uh, I don't want these things to be too involved, but um, that's something that uh, has helped me uh, learning how to do this and identify this has helped me immensely to get to get likeness with my my heads that I do um, uh, in any kind of drawing. And one of the reasons that I love this place so much, as I was telling Timmy at the beginning, this is, is responding. This is like gym for us. And so the practice of drawing, what I do most of the time is landscape. But I hate being the, in the position of doing a large painting and then struggling with drawing. Um, so I practice drawing all the time. So I don't I don't have that struggle. Um, it makes it makes my life much easier. Um, I'm going to do this very much like I did. Uh, Kevin McAllister, is that right? Is that the right name? Cassandra? Yeah, yep. okay. that's Kevin and McAllister. I'm the same, same material. All of this stuff. You know, I did this, I blocked this in an acrylic, and then I went back and I drew this thing in oil crayons. And this is all still oil crayon. It's all with a little bit of dry brush paint back into it. But the acrylic is what made my picture. And so I'm going to do this thing the same way. I'll shut up now and go to work. And um, if anybody has any questions, I'm more than willing to let Cassandra ask them, answer them for you. <laughs> No, that was such a great way to explain like how you begin figuring it out. Like just starting to understand an image, it is simple, but the actual doing of it is complicated initially and learning to see. And I think that was a great way to explain that. So thank you.